All right, so um, back at this uh, tilt cylinder, trying to figure out how to get it to work on here. And I have come up with this bracket right here. Um, there are two holes, they're 65 millimeters apart in the, in the ROPS uh, of the tractor. Basically, it's designed to hold this bracket right here and then also a bracket that holds a, a fuse, a, basically a, a fuse panel or a relay panel right here. That bracket holds all of it on. They're, they're equal holes on both sides of the ROP, so I'm not having to drill into the protective, the rollover protective structure at all. But um, <clears throat> what I've done is I've taken and make an L-shaped bracket. I've just used, uh, I believe this is a 3 8 uh, it's a long bolt that I've just cut the ends off of, and then I've drilled it for a uh, clevis pin. So, and also at the same time, what I've done, since the original bolts were too short, I've taken some metric bolts. I'm trying to keep everything metric. Um, they were a little long, so I went ahead and threaded down a little bit farther than where uh, it needed to be. And then I've gone ahead and cut off the ends to make them the appropriate length. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get them installed, get this bracket installed and see if it works. Uh, what I hope I can do, because basically this bracket's gonna sit right here something like that, and it's going to hold the down pressure cylinder, or the down force cylinder. Now what I'm hoping is I can only, when I can get away with doing one side instead of two sides, because over here on this side, moving the camera over here, um, on this side, there is no, because of the hydraulic lines there, there's no good way to get a bolt through those holes that are in there unless you either A, move the hydraulic lines, or B, take the tire off, um, or you know, the wheel. So that is not necessarily a route that we want to go. Um, because it's going to be difficult to film in there, I'm going to go ahead and install the bracket, and then uh, we're going to come back and I'll, I'll turn the camera back on once I've installed the bracket. All right, so here's the bracket. It feels pretty solid. Um, <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the down, just this, this set down pressure cylinder off. The cylinders do move on their own, so you can lift it up and down. And we're just gonna put it on there like that, kind of just as a storage mechanism. And that's where we're gonna leave it. Now what I wanna do is I wanna start the tractor and I wanna move um, move the three point up and down because these cylinders are designed to move with the three point point. And what I want to make sure is not going to happen is as the three point goes up and down, if I leave the other cylinder over here attached to this three point, I'm going to make, I want to make sure that it's not going to put excess pressure on my bracket here because ultimately, you know, we don't want that bracket breaking off or anything uh, while, we're, while we're using the machine. With this cylinder off of here, then I can use the tilt cylinder on the, uh, I can use the tilt cylinder on the, the three point. And so I'm just gonna set it up. We're gonna crank the tractor up and um, we're gonna just basically kind of lift the three point up and down and see what happens. So let me get the crack, tractor cranked up. I actually need to connect the uh, top link again since I had it off there. So we're gonna connect the top link and we'll get it started and we'll see what happens to our bracket. All right, so now with the tractor running, what we can do is we can actually go ahead and test our, um, our work here. So what we don't want to do, we, we don't wanna see this bracket bend up and down or this cylinder move. So. I'm gonna lift the three point up. I don't see any movement. So it doesn't look like it's putting any pressure on that bracket, either going up or down. So that's actually really good. So that means I only have to make that one. Fantastic. So we have solved our um, we have solved our downforce issue with the tilt cylinder, which is really good. Um, it's a pretty simple bracket to make. Uh, like I said, it's just a, just, I basically just took two pieces of metal and um, welded them together and then welded this bolt on there. I gotta take it back off to paint it now. 
because I think it needs some blitz black. Um, you cannot, if so in other words, if you have it like this, you cannot turn the down pressure on because basically that would just bend it. Because it's gonna automatically apply 500 pounds of force to that, that bar right there, which it does not need to do. It will basically just bend it and break that bracket. And uh, that's what you don't want to do. So um, I can, with it set up like that, I cannot turn the down force on. And I will have to remember that. Uh, also at the same time, as I've said before, uh, if I'm going to um, use a tilt cylinder, it's going to be a pretty special case. I'm going to leave the top cylinder on here, um, but the tilt cylinder itself is not too much of a concern for me. It's going to have to be a, a special case to use a tilt cylinder. So um, that's actually a lot easier uh, problem to solve than I anticipated, and I'm pretty excited about it. So now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go have a little fun with the the top cylinder, get used to using it, and um, have a little fun with it. So I gotta paint this, let it dry and everything, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna see if I can move this with the tractor running. You can move it with the tractor running. I have no good place to put the clip right there. So that clip's just gonna have to stay in the cab if I have the tilt cylinder on. Because I was afraid that clip is gonna run into the tilt cylinder. So, let me, um, let me get this off here, get it painted, get some blitz black put on it, and we're uh, gonna call it good. Uh, looks like a, a really easy way to solve our problem. I'll, um, let me get you up in here a little bit. So you can kind of see how I've done it all. See there, this right here is the bracket. And then uh, basically already on those two holes, those two bolts in there. So overall, and then you can see where the heads are over here. So they just run all the way through. One holds this bracket and the other holds this bracket that holds this uh, relay box on. So. Get some blitz black on that and that's a finished product project um all total about four hours worth of time trying to figure it out and everything but uh, it looks like a it's a really strong bracket so i'm not too concerned about it um I, I might shave a little bit more off these bolts although looking down through there i don't think necessarily they're they stick too much farther out than anything else so yeah pretty excited thanks for watching